You say we're live? Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm talking to Sophie. <laughs> She's hanging out there. She's watching me. I told her. I said, you ready? Are you ready? The countdown's on. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good afternoon, everybody. This is, I am Laura Lynn of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. And I have a nice hot cup of Earl Grey tea. So cheers, hello, and welcome. Happy everybody's here. I have the beautiful hugs quilt done behind me, except for the binding. You can see it's the gray. I, I chose a speckled gray uh, to go all the way around. Uh, I meant to do the hand stitching last night, but by the time I finished uh, washing dishes, because you know we our dishwasher broke, and I'm you know have, that's added to the list. So it was like three loads of <laughs> dishes to get stuff done. So we were good for the weekend. I was too tired to hand stitch, so I was just like, Rrr. so. I hung it up, but it still needs hand stitching, but it looks lovely and lovely. So hello, hello, welcome, welcome. And cheers to you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We greatly appreciate you. We're so excited. Two weeks today is our 12 hour and it's Pop's birthday. So we're going to celebrate. We're going to got, we got some good stuff going on. It's going to be fun. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Indeed, hello, hello, hello. So uh, we're just going to jump right in on this. It is exclamation Irish. If you would like to get the free pattern, bust your stash, bust your scraps, whatever it is you got to do. Uh, where it's white, I put gray. Where it's pink, I put purple. And then I took some really vibrant colors from my stash and collection to make this come out together. And I've got scrappy teal, yellow, red, green. So I've got lots of scrappiness going on in here. And some colors are consistent throughout every single block. So um, I'm just, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It really bust up a lot of uh, fabric that I had. You almost have about a thousand pieces of two and a half by two and a half of your collection plus another like 300 of the purples or pink or whatever color you choose to use that as your um, you know uh, main feature fabric okay so and I just want to show you I, I put all my um, collection in one of my project bags I made we did that as a video, so you can always just go check past our uh, previous videos to um, check that one out if you ever wanted to see how that came together. And it fit perfectly in there. So this is, I'm gonna hold on, let me grab a tea. I'm oh, sorry, a sip of my tea, and I wanna show you what three of them look together, okay? What do we think of that? What do we think of that? 
I love it. I think it's very vibrant. It's very bright, bright. I just realized this uh, camera wasn't on, so. I'm not camera, the uh, light wasn't on. Hopefully that'll make a difference. Oh, there we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay. And then selfie cam. We need the selfie cam. Is the selfie cam working? Yeah. I do it over. It's just so good. <laughs> just so cute. Okay. It's, yeah, I, I'm, I'm loving the big vibrant of uh, colors. I really am. So we're making another one of this one right here. That's what I have laid out and we're just gonna put it together. So let's just jump in and get some work done, shall we? And we're hoping to sell this. So if anybody's interested, keep your eyes on it. It's gonna be a good size. What is this? 90 by 90. That is a really good queen. That's a queen. That's a queen right there, almost borderline king, depending how much drape you wanted on a king. So, you know what I mean? That's a good size. And I have enough gray, I could always add a border around if somebody who was really, really interested in it and messaged us at info at we sew it .ca, uh, we could, you know, totally accommodate, right? So. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Happy everybody's here. All right, let's let's get working. Worky, worky, worky. All right, let's move our little project bag. Stick that on the floor here. I was so happy I kept everything. Everything nice and neat because like, once you get all your pieces cut, you really don't want to be losing them, right? So let's get working. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Happy you're here. Glad to see you. Hope you're having a beautiful day. We're having some unusually warm weather here in southeastern Ontario, Canada. Oh, 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 sorry. Lead foot Larry mode I was in earlier. Um, and um, it's, it's going to be around for a couple weeks. So we're excited. We're excited by uh, having some, some warm weather come our way. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Did that help? I do. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. There we go. Wonderful. It's marvelous. Oh, what's this one? Look up to rain. I have not seen rain in my. Oh, I bet you that's nice. I bet you that's nice to hear, isn't it, Allison? Especially when you guys are always so dry. Can't imagine being so dry. They're like digging for wells of water just to make sure, like, I don't know, it would scare me. Okay, that's a little too slow, come on now. Somewhere in between. Hello, hello, warm weather here <clears throat> as well. Fall leaves and my trees, two seasons. <laughs> we have, uh, we've got leaves everywhere. We got to do some serious raking uh, tomorrow. And Munchkin and I are, we, we chatted about it earlier. So we're gonna tag team. I'm gonna rake the leaves in his path with the mower and on mulch sex, uh, setting, mulch setting. Um, it'll, uh, we'll we'll uh, get rid of most of those leaves and uh, turn it into um, uh, mulch for the yard. So, we're missing a color. What are we missing here? We're missing a yellow. Oh, there it is. It got moved over. It's like, what happened to my yellow? What happened to my yellow? Too late to rain. <laughs> yeah, I hear. I saw that you said you had snow. I was like, oh no. Well, we get a little dump. Uh, okay, M Monday morning, uh, Sunday, Sunday and Monday, we had we had snow. Okay, and then by yesterday, I'm outside in my vest, so it went from minus to plus, all within just a couple of days. And now we're going to be in the pluses for like two weeks. But it's not. It's, it's like you know, just you know, six, six to eight or, or something. Uh, but this whole weekend is supposed to be like eighteen to twenty. So I'll take it. I'll take it. So I got the deck mostly cleaned up this morning. Got everything moved out of the way and 
uh, moved to the more to the side of the house and then got it all swept of leaves and I'm starting to uh, put the patio furniture, you know, kind of wrap it up so it can be uh, tarped for the winter and clean it up so we can get a nice clean deck when we go to shovel. That's uh, my, my main goal is to have a nice clean deck when it does, does snow when we have to shovel. I don't like just a little tiny path to go up the stairs and into the house. I want, you know, a good half decent part tidied up. Okay, we can sew this purple one on the bottom. No, it's been a beautiful day. The past couple of days have been really nice. And we're supposed to have uh, some really nice weather for the next two. Uh, two, two weeks-ish, definitely, for sure. Into the, the pluses. We'll take it. We know what's coming our way. Yes, we do. How's everybody doing? What's everybody got in their cup today? Like I said, I got Earl Grey. So cheers, cheers to you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Mm. Nice and hot in my, my lovely little thermal mug. Gifted to me by Lois. Yeah, exactly. Hello to everybody I missed as well. Thanks, Helly. Happy to see you here. We missed you for the past few weeks. Not that we were, you know, trying to stalk you or anything. And same with Sass. I figure you two were like in cahoots, but you're like in completely different countries. So <laughs> you, were, you were busy doing other things. And that's, that's a good, that's a good thing. Peppermint mocha, diet coke, iced coffee, coffee, cheers. Um, hold on. Have you heard of biscuit tea? No, I haven't. Uh, hello, from Hello, Bernadette. We were just talking about what everybody had in their cup today. What you got in your cup? Mm, peppermint mocha. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not a big peppermint fan or mint kind of fan, but I might, maybe. I don't know. Thank goodness no sharks here. <laughs> yeah. Freezing fog here. Oh, no, that's not nice at all, Wendy. That's very dangerous. That can be very dangerous. Peach mango tea, just tea. Very nice. Oh, just tea. Well, cheers, 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 peoples. Hello, 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 Pat. Hello, Kim. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Donna Faye. Peach mango tea. I'm going to have to look that one up. Is that uh, like a loose... Or is it like in a bag? You know what I mean? Like, you have to like put it through a strainer, that sort of one? It sounds like it would be a fancy one. <laughs> How long? Hold on. I have a question. How long do you keep your pins? Well, as soon as I get a, a kink or a curve in it, they're, they're garbage. I mean, I, I want a straight pin, not a, 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 a kinky pin. So I toss them after. It's up that way to your meaning, so. Uh, hello, Chris. Hello, hello. Cheers to you. Hello, Kim and Tiffany, Vicky, Uta, and Gwenny, of course. Hello, hello. <clears throat> hello, Maureen. Uh, red rose tea for me. That's what my mom used to drink. She was always a red rose. It wasn't my favorite, but, you know, when I found her gray, I was like, ooh, I like this. That, that's right up my alley. I like that. But cheers. Nice hot cuppa. Sass, laughing Kelly Lavin. <laughs> kinky, <laughs> not kinky pins. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Any sort of little wonk into it, I'd toss that out, man. They're not that expensive that I have to. I even got extras, so I, you know. Hello, Miss Deborah. Hello, hello. All right, so all those that are just kind of popping in, just want to show you the two different blocks that we have going on here. I've got uh, two of the first one, which we need 13 of, which is the big ones of 81 squares, and then one of the ones in the center, which we need 12 of. So that's, we're going to add another one of these and another one of these to finish this row, okay? And I'm hoping if we get our act together, we can make another four of these, and then we can get two rows done today because I should have enough of the big blocks done and ready to rock. So isn't that beautiful? It looks very colorful. I love it. Love, love how it's looking on, looking on the screen. 
Uh, all right, so let's move here. Let's scoot this down. Keep putting these rows together and then we'll sew the rows to make the block, okay? Exclamation Irish if you want to um, uh, get uh, go to the their create their website to get the copy of the free pattern okay and please please go to their website and support them in any way you can hello Anne hello hello Mary's drinking coffee very nice very nice very nice awesome hope everybody's having an amazing day it's a it's a good weekend here so far I feel like I got some something productive done this morning. Chickens are still not laying any eggs. <sighs> I start, I just, and now I'm starting talking to them in the morning, like, come on, girls, holy moly, it's been a while now. So, like, start giving up the goods. <laughs> Gray is a new background good. Hmm. Well, I like this one. I like this the, the gray for this. I, I mean, uh, you could use white, as they say, but I've used white before, and I thought, you know what, I have this, like, marbly gray. How would it look with such beautiful, vibrant colors and and patterns next to it? So, because there's a few patterns, and there's, you know, a few bright colors. So. It's pretty, isn't it? It's, it's a really, it's a wide back from uh, Northcott. And boy, are they ever annoying me. I've got three orders in processing. One's from August, one's from September, and one's from October. And all I get is the, you know, wait. Oh, I'm missing a purple. Oh, here it is. Um, you know, we're waiting, we're waiting. And I'm like, oh, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Because I've got, like, customers who've ordered bolts, and I've got, you know, stuff I need to, I'm planning for future projects, and, you know, like... Holy bejeebies, bat cat. You know. And I gotta get some more wide backs in here because I've used a few and, you know. Alright. Uh oh, what did I miss? Mm -hmm. Oh no, they're they're young. They're just the new ones, the new chicks that we got just in the summertime there. Remember? And then we found out we had three roosters. Well now we have one rooster. We have Paul Norman still. Um and uh but he's yeah, he's he's getting a little noisy, so I don't know what we're gonna do with him. Because I don't want to annoy my neighbors. One doesn't care. He doesn't he doesn't really care at all um about the noise because he's used to being on a farm and he, he he, he, it didn't really matter to him, so. And, but the other ones I haven't really, <laughs> you know, triple checked with or anything since, you know, they really started being vocal. But he's not out before 8 a.m., so, you know, like that should be some sort of consolation. <laughs> do do. I'll take rain and eggs, that's for sure. Yes, Allison said that she woke up to rain today too and she was she was like, what? Well, it's raining. Somebody did the dance last night. Someone did the rain dance last night. All right, let's get these two here. <coughs> Um, hold on, uh, hold on, they were done June, no, I guess they're about five and a bit, they're about five and a bit there, Kathleen, yeah, I know, yeah, I, yeah, uh, so is, is it six months, uh, am I looking too early, because I keep looking, going, come on, girls, give, give me the goods, <laughs> stop holding out on me, <laughs> so I guess we have another couple weeks to wait, though, so if that's what it is, so. That's all right. That's okay. Patience is a virtue. I I know they're 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 loving their little life that they got going on. I mean, who wouldn't? All right, now let's um, go over to the main table here and start pinning some of these rows rows together, and then we'll sew them. Okay, but we'll pin a couple.
Yours just started, yeah? Usually four to six months. Oh, also the weather, well, that, I was a little concerned about that too there, Cheryl, because it was later in the season that I got them, right? So, but I don't know, we'll wing it. Wing it, ding, ding it. All right, let's uh, get our little block laid out here. So the two outside ones together. Of course, we really want to pin where those squares are lining up. And of course, these come together pretty quickly now that we're not putting 81 pieces together. You've got some huge chunks of gray fabric that make up that other block, so it goes faster. They are very cute. They are very cute. They got their own personalities. They're so funny. And the reason I'm pinning is because I really want those seams to be right up against each other, like as much as they can be, right? Like bang on, nothing shifted over. If possible, we want them right on top of each other. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for your family. <clears throat> oh, here, we can put this one on this one and then those two together. So I'm putting one pin at one end, lining up against that big, huge uh, center cut fabric, which you would have at whatever color you want it. I have this as a marbly gray, sort of a texture. So I'm hoping that would add some fun and uh, throughout the quilt project itself, instead of just being a solid. And then having that purple as the solid as well. So <clears throat> yeah, and then putting one pin in the, in the center to making sure that it fits all the way. Um, as I line these guys up, I try to feel with my fingers the way the seams go when you got two fabrics going one way and two fabrics going the another and how they snug up against each other with those little seams budding. Then you just, once you feel like it's in the right position, you just kind of stick a pin in to keep it there. So when you go to sew it, it's pretty exact. I mean, sometimes it shifts, sometimes it moves, sometimes you pinned it wrong, but that's what the seam rippers for. So it's not a big deal. Okay. All right. So let's, so here, 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 and here. Okay. Hello, Anna. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, Louis. Hello, Lou. Mm-mm-mm. Happy, 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 happy Saturday. It's beautiful weather and I can't wait. I don't know, for the 12 hours, I guess. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't believe it's going to be two weeks. Two weeks today, the 12 hours. Pop's birthday. I don't know, because we've streamed on my birthday before, but we've never, I don't think we've ever streamed on Pop's birthday before. So this will be fun. This will be fun for us. We streamed the day before Munchkin's birthday. Okay. Yeah, the twenty-first. Yep, yeah, twelve hours on the twenty-first. There, Miss Ass. Mm -hmm. Two weeks today, baby. Two weeks today. It's gonna go by so fast. It really is. Okay, so there's our two, our two outside strips. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. okay, and then let's sew the two other strips on the side of our big center strip. Okay. So 
try to keep fat heads in the way. Flip it around. pins out. There we go. That looks nice. Okay. That goes right up against that set right there. And we'll sew this one and then we'll pin those uh, two outside pieces in towards the centers. question what do what speed does most people have their uh, machine set to mine's about the middle when I do uh, streaming or filming uh, when it's um, just sewing piecing really fast together I have it up a little bit for speed uh, of course some people have the foot pedal control for you know as if you were driving a car with gas so I'm just kind of curious, is it like uh, slow, medium, or fast? How do, you, how do you sew? Well, I thank you, Deborah. This is the happiest part of my week, too. <laughs> All right, let's go back over here, and we'll pin these two little strips on. And then we'll give it a press after we get it sewn. Medium, yeah? So on medium, medium, full blast. <laughs> In the middle. Uh, oh, no politics here. Uh, medium, full speed. <laughs> Minus the medium, flat out door <laughs> stuff. <laughs> She's there fast and with one hand, or medium to slow. I use a foot pedal and machine to set the set to rabbit speed. <laughs> Just curious, you know, because it, it, as you get comfortable um, sewing and you're, you're confident in your own skills of keeping things straight, so you have a tendency to, you know, a little bit lead foot Larry, so. Uh, better than the metal, says Linda. <laughs> I love that. Usually medium. Uh, foot pedal slow to medium. I sew medium to fast. Depends on what I'm sewing. Yeah, that, that's true there, Deborah. That's the, exactly that. That's what I thought. If I'm just kind of, you know, piecing. So, yeah, it depends on the day, <laughs> says Virginia. Middle, unless it's a long seam, then it's zippity doo zar. Zippity doo dar zoom. <laughs> I'm not confident, Miss Go. Well, you should be, Pat, because you do beautiful stuff. Uh, for pedal only, so if I'm chain piecing, it's pedal to the metal. Yeah, exactly, right. To the floor. <laughs> I'm a putt putt sewer. That's fine. That's fine, Lena. There's nothing wrong with being a putt putt sewer. I don't have a slider. Oh, okay. So it's just uh, uh, foot pedal, foot, foot, foot pedal pressure. We seldom use the whole potential. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess so. Yeah, I'm about I'm midway to not all. I guess it just you know depends on what I'm sewing. Like pretty much everybody else. Sorry, I wanted to put one in the center here. I'm just curious. Love the sound of my machine when she's going full speed. <laughs> Battle of the metal, baby. Putt putt still gets the job done. Exactly, Kelly. Exactly. Putt putt still gets the job done. There's been many times I was been a putt putter, just because I was unsure, right? And, <laughs> the curves are slow and windy. <laughs> pedal, straight and narrow, pedal to the metal. 
<laughs> okay, all right. Let's sew those two seams and then we've got another block done and we can put another two together and finish our first row. I'm so excited. We get to finish the first row. It's gonna look so beautiful. I'm so excited. I said to, to Pop and Munchkin, I'm like, these colors are so vibrant next to each other. I'm so happy I picked them. You know, the pattern that I chose, you know, it, it, uh, I'm looking at it as not necessarily inspiration from the colors they're using, but just looking at the pattern layout itself and how I can use my own stash to uh, accomplish such a beautiful quilt. Right, so the, the one in the pattern is a little bit more subdued, pastel-y sort of looking ones, and I've got such bright and vibrant in your face sort of colors, and I just love it. I just love it. In your face color. Uh. <laughs> Take that purple. Take that yellow. <laughs> oh, me too, Lois. I'm really loving how it's looking against all those other colors here. Like even this little section right here with the, the you know, a little bit of texture on that pink with, uh, you know, black and red and whatever. And then that little turquoisey with, uh, you know, I don't know, like little feathers and flowers and fleur de flus and paisleys or whatever. And then this one here, like almost like a... Oh, um, kaleidoscope sort of fabric and then just all those right together just looks so pretty to me you know and even over here like with the, the grays and then these vibrant ones right here like oh I love it I love it love it love it it's looking gorgeous and I just hope someone's interested in uh, purchasing it because <laughs> it's gonna be a good size it's gonna be 90 by 90 but I can always make it a little bit bigger if the request is there if somebody's really that interested they just have to message us I can easily slap uh, a good, you know, eight inch border all the way around or, you know, a six inch border all the way around to make it a little bit bigger for a king size bed or something like that. It's totally doable. I have the fabric, so. Info at wesewit.ca. If anybody is interested in it, you know, might as well let us know now. Okay, there we go. Lovely. Check that out. Looks pretty. All right, let's give that a press and then we'll set it up with our other block and get our first row done. Okay. Da, da, da. Had to watch Robin finish the zipper post. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. I missed a little boot with Seam Ripper. Seam Ripper, Seam Ripper, you're my best friend. Seam Ripper, Seam Ripper, right to the very end. Seam Ripper, Seam Ripper, you're my best friend. You're gonna fix my mistakes in the very, very end. Pretty much something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I look like I missed a little spot here, so let's go back and just kind of clean it up on both sides so we get a nice smooth transition from where it meets just fine to where it's not meeting. Okay, here we go. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. I was a little he uh, hesitant on the gray at first, I have to admit. I was like, oh, is that too much like a texture to the fabric? And will it look okay being in this um, block form? So comes vibrantness down, comes the vibrantness. Oh yeah, okay, that's, that's good. It is very vibrant. That's for sure. Okay. Should have fixed my boo-boo. We're having homemade pizza for dinner. I've already made the pizza dough, made it last night so it can chillax in the fridge all night. And it looks amazing, it smells really good. And I already browned up some uh, pork and seasoned it. And then um, I got some crushed fresh pineapple from the freezer for my part of the pizza. <laughs> Don't want to start no riot in the chat about the pineapple on the pizza. It's my choice. And then uh, the munchkin's going to go pick up a couple more ingredients that we need uh, after the stream. So, okay, here's our three and then we just need two more 
Okay, so to here. Oh, okay. All right, team. Uh, the, we have to we have to restart, so we'll be right back. Yeah? Okie dokie. Gonna believe ya. <laughs> okay, and we're back? Okay, well, I'm not back, but you guys are back. Hold on, let me just refresh here. Hopefully that makes it okay. Okay, all right, we're good. All right, oh, I was just setting up the other one. Let me just get the little. Um, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Sorry. I'm sorry, I don't want to sneeze in your ear. The gears. Oh, maybe not. It's gonna be a false alarm. I hate those. I hate those false alarms. Okay, all right, let's move that there. Uh, let's just get these guys here and then we'll go to sewing. The other set that I had prepped. Do, 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 do. do, do. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Thank you. Sorry, sorry, sorry for uh, the delay, and thank you very much for being patient. Okay, so I pinned where I wanted those two other blocks to go here. Okay, so I've got it pinned right here, and I've got it pinned right here. So we're going to sew those two, and that'll be our first row done. Okay. Woot woot. Okay, let's get that done. So nice, big, and bright, and colorful. Yes, this is extremely unusually warm weather for November in Ontario. So it's even baffled the meteorologists. <laughs> Cushion. Okay. Get the next row. Should be right here. <laughs> Had to be something like that, right, Lise? <laughs> That's okay. Pop was gonna throw it and throw it out when he saw the bag on the counter. <laughs> That's Munchkin, Munchkin to grab it from the freezer because I knew we had a, a big bag of fresh pineapple in there. And pineapples were on sale a few weeks ago and they were ripe and ready and I didn't know what to do with it at that point in time. But I'm like, oh, for, you know, for $2.50, I can chop it up and put it in the freezer until I want to use it. So I'll, I'll take the time to do that so I can get some myself some fresh pineapple. Now this is through, this is row one done. So let's give that a press first. Let's take this down, move our blocks over, press this one row, and then we'll, we'll show you the, what the whole one row looks like. Cause it's gonna be big, it's gonna be big, big, big. Okay. 
Well, especially that we're having pork on the pizza too and pineapple and pork go really well together, I think so. so. get it all but we can see most of it there we go this could be big beautiful <laughs> lovely all right now we need to start on the other ones okay so let's put this here lay this in the back let's get our colors going for our other two it's looking nice. I'm loving it. Loving those bright colors. Love, love those colors I chose. The beautiful little scrappiness of it, too. All right. All right, let's get our other little color coordinates in here, too, as well. Okay. There we go. That looks nice. Nice little color combination there. Dun -dun. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Well, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Haven't sold anything in three weeks. What's going on, Tammy? What's going on? Did you lose your mojo? It's okay. Thank you, uh, man. Oh, I appreciate that. It's coming along really quite nicely. These blocks are big. They're, you wouldn't believe it, but there is 81 squares in here. It's nine times nine. So you gotta lay that out and flip and flop and make those seams all nice and beautiful. It takes some time to put these together. It's like take us almost an hour, hour and a half to put the, one of these together. And that's not including the cut time, right? So it's just the sew time. And it's a great way to bust your stash though. I mean, cause you're using over a thousand pieces of two and a half by two and a half. So I feel like I still have to sneeze. Oh, it's burning up here. I hate that. Err. <sighs> Drive me nuts. Hello, Marin. How's it doing? How's it doing? How's it doing? How's it doing? What's going on? Oh, do, 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 do. All right, let's get this other one sewn together. I think we got three. Do we have three to make for this row? I think so. One, two, three. Yeah, we got three. We got three that we got to make. So let's get those three made and then we'll put our second row together and then attach our first row and our second row together. I think that is going to look amazing. That way. It's for both. <laughs> Picking up my ham for the holiday, but will not be adding any sweet to it. Just baked it. In its own juice. Oh, very, that sounds nice, Lena. I like a nice ham in its own juice, that's for sure. I like ham. Mm -hmm. no, it's, it's been a good week. It was a kind of a, it felt like a little bit of a long week. Um, 
I did get my foot x-rayed, but I haven't, like, I, my doctor told me to call her, and I called her, and she wasn't answering her phone, so, um, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I guess so she'll just let me know if I did or didn't, but nonetheless, it's feeling much better, and, uh, getting my socks off and on and my shoes off and on is way easier. It's just a couple little, you know, where you step wrong, or you take a step down off the step you know, the stairs or off the, the curb or whatever. Those are a couple little things that were, that were, uh, would tweak my foot or getting dressed in the morning, you know, you try to put one leg through pant leg, one leg through your pant leg and then try to balance on the other foot. That's, you know, sore. Yeah. Wasn't very successful. <laughs> so, but nonetheless, we're just, we're just, you know, winging it out. No matter what, I, I, I'm, it's, it's got to heal up. I just got to give it time. Since I'm not as young as I used to be, it's going to take a little while. Yes, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm just feeling much better, like I said. It, it's, had its, it's had its few moments of, uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, my goal is to get two rows done today. So we're not leaving. We're not leaving here until we have two rows done. Okay. That's my goal for today. And I did uh, four of the blocks during the week um, to make sure that we could like make some progress today. So a little, we could actually see it coming together, this beautiful, beautiful Irish chain. Exclamation Irish if you want a copy to the free pattern, okay? Uh, take your calcium. Uh, well, I do, I do drink milk. You mean like an actual tablet? I'm not really good with that, Allison. <laughs> uh, thank you, Nadine. I am, I am. I'm feeling much better. Feeling much, much better. I did a lot of driving uh, last Sunday. Well, no, I wouldn't say a lot, but you know, when you have a sore foot, it is a lot. Uh, I should have I should have used cruise control, but I didn't. So my foot was really sore uh, Sunday afternoon and all pretty much all Monday and into Tuesday morning. It was really really sore. That's why I thought, okay, maybe I I should be getting an X-ray because. You know, as much as I think I just a little banged my baby toe out of whack and then, you know, it'll it'll settle down. It's, you know, I, it may have been something more serious. So, but, and I just kind of um, pinned it up to afterwards was just because I was, I, you know, drove with the foot for three hours. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too, Heather. Thank you. I appreciate that. And congratulations to Peter. He's doing so well. My goodness, I'm so proud of him. So proud of your little munchkin there, Heather. My goodness. And our munchkin starts his internship on Monday. And we're so excited for him. And he's so excited. Yes. Internship. And then that goes all the way until the end of March, I believe. And then he's done. Can you believe it? I'm so excited. I have to have a big party. P A R T Y R T. P A R T. -R -T. Mm. It's going to be amazing. I'm so happy and proud of him. You have no idea. It's so much better than him doing nothing in the basement is just doing something. I don't, I didn't care what it was. He could have been learning how to, you know, grow earthworms or something. I didn't care. He just needed to be doing something. I know. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Agatha. I appreciate that. If you want to follow and then sub subscribe. I know. Thanks, Carrie. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. Appreciate that. Really do. Yeah. Thank you, Kelly. Awesome.
That's completely wonderful. Low on juice. Uh-oh. Got to charge it up there, Deanne. <laughs> Got to need some juju. Need some go-go juice. <laughs> Super, super proud of him. Bot, wake up. I don't know what's going on with the bot. <laughs> Happy day, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I'm just so proud of him. And just happy that he's doing something he really wants to do, you know? I don't know why I'm being so such a sappy face, I'm sorry. I apologize. Just so proud. I always ever wanted him to just be happy, so. It's happy, and it's happy, it's making us happy to see him so happy on what he's doing. Like, that's that's just the joy in it, you know, and he's having so much fun, and he's learning so much, and... I know. Goofy. Goofy we are. Well, or me. Because Pop gets to hide. <laughs> I have no idea there, Deborah. That's a good question to pose towards him when he's on for the 12 hours. <laughs> He'll be there at some point in time. All right, hold on. Here's the last row. I need to use a Kleenex. I'm sorry. One moment. understanding they don't come with manuals man let me tell you <laughs> like I said before I think we always ever wanted for our children was just to be happy right and to be have a better uh, life and not that you know my life was horrible it wasn't but, you know, we always want better for our children, right? That's just who we are as humans. Always want the better. All right, we need to make three of these, didn't we? All right, so let's, let's get crack and lack in here. Let's get three of these done and we'll get our second row done. Yeah, when you when you find that your you know your child actually gets excited about something and they're you know they have a passion for it and 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 you know they're they're good at it too clearly you know or they wouldn't be doing so well so that's when you just wanna you know you just wanna encourage them as much as you you possibly can as a parent and support them as much as you can as a parent like you know we're not telling him he had to go out and get a job right away like we asked him to go to school learn what he wanted to learn and. And, and be what he wanted to be, you just do something. You know, sitting in the basement and or downstairs doing nothing all day isn't gonna get you anything besides angry parents. So making an effort on doing something with your life, whether it, you do it continuously for the rest of your life or not, but at least something is better than nothing. And you're learning and you're possibly meeting people and you're still educating yourself and you're opening yourself up to ideas and other possibilities that you never know what's gonna come about. But sitting down in the basement being a cellar dweller is, is only going to make you a cellar dweller. Uh, that, oh, that's a good question. Hold on there, Deborah. That's a good question. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So we've done the first one here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. 
We need 13 of these guys and 12 of these guys. What is he taking? Oh, he's taking uh, computer gaming and design and like story, story play and stuff like it's all, it's all really very interesting. Please share the link. What link? No, this is a free pattern, Allison. I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, it looks really cute, doesn't it? I really like it. I, I do like the subdued colors in here. Like, I really do. Like, this is very beautiful. Um, it's more like a pastel-y sort of spring, but I, I like the the colors I have chosen for mine because it just, it's like vibrant and pops and I don't know. It's just, it's so, so, it's, I don't know. It looks really beautiful, I think. So, oh, here's hoping it turns out to be the same way. So. Um, let's keep, keep sewing here. Uh, not using your newer sewing machine. Oh, uh, I, I had Nomi out for a while. I had to do some embroidery. So it's instead of switching back and forth. Um, and sometimes, uh, Janie, which that's what I named the other machine is a little persnickety about thread. She's uh, a bit of a thread snob. So if you don't have the right thread in her, she uh, likes to uh, jam up all the time or she'll drop her thread or, yeah, she's she's a little annoying that way. So I, I've just had Nomi out for the past couple months because I've had some embroidery to do and I've got some tooth fairy pillows to do and and stuff like that for a couple customers. And uh, one um, messaged me today and wants me to do a label for the back of her quilt. And I said, no problem. So we just need to talk about thread and size. You want the label and where you want it. Cause she wants me to finish off the quilt for her as well. She wants me to do the binding. So now, now's the time to, to know where she wants me to stick it. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Just nestling while I clean now. Oh, you can come clean my house too, Tammy. I, I'm here. I'll keep you company. I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll make you a tea. How's that? And share some cookies with you. But I, I don't. I'm not really interested in the whole cleaning part. <laughs> yeah, it's very. Some machines are very picky, aren't they, Nadine? Some of them are got a bit of an attitude. And little Janie's got. She's a. She's a, she's a thread snob. She she likes only a certain type of thread. Other than that, she gets all. If you go to cut the thread and then start again, it actually pops out, or it's, it pops out of the. Um, top holder here, the, the top hook, and it drives me crazy. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Do, do. The thread popping out. Do, do. Drives me crazy. The thread popping out all the time. Cookies, I'll be right there. No kidding, right? <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, sorry, I misread that, Allison. Okay, thank you, thank you, honey, I appreciate that, I really do. Miss, Miss Allison and I have collaborated on a project for one of the YouTubers that we both watch and enjoy. She's been watching them longer than I have, but uh, we thoroughly enjoy their channel and are like so heartfelt along their whole complete journey. And just, and, and I, I can't wait to be able to share the project with you guys on a long arm Wednesday of uh, what she made. And I'm just gonna help quilt it up it's all her really um so you know it's 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 and it's, it's so beautiful and i just can't wait to add our special little touch for this very special couple and we just really enjoy them and their channel and what they provide entertainment wise and you know the and you know the scenery they've got really good footage of where they are so it's, it's beautiful it's beautiful Oh, a channel? Oh, it's called Trent and Alley. Trent, T-R-E-N-T -E and A-L-L-I-E. Yeah. I've been watching them since about maybe April. I think April. And it sounds like Allison's been watching them since last year. So, um, 
Yeah, we, we which actually she mentioned something in, in one of the chats and that's why I was like, oh, and I was reading afterwards because I missed it. Um, we were talking about YouTubers that we watch and she and I'm like, I, I'm with their Trent and Allie completely. Oh my gosh, they're just a cute, cutest little couple. I know awesome drone stuff, right? You started about January, oh, so a couple months before me. Uh, Al, Al, and Allison, what kind of thing to do? I can hardly wait to see it. Oh, it's beautiful. Al, uh, Allison created it, uh, and she's sending the the top to me to quilt up, and then I'm going to do a lovely label. Um, uh, the only thing I meant to ask you, Allison, did you send a note so we uh, so I can when I go to mail it to them that you we have a, you have a note from you to them because I was going to do a little note as well, you know, seal it up in an envelope or whatever and. And um, I meant to tell you that before you mailed your last package. I'm sorry. Whoops. Whoops, whoops. And then I, I could just include it in the whole package because I got something for their little dog too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a nice little pillow. She's sending a couple blocks, but I'm gonna do a couple, uh, you know, uh, detailed works on the the long arm and and stuff. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be a fun little project to mail off to them. So. Sue Smith, happy to see you. Yeah, I just thought it'd be a nice idea. Nice idea. And Frank, yeah, of course, Frank. <laughs> uh, they were still van lifing. Yeah, I never saw them when they were van lifing. It was only after they had to move back to uh, um, the U.S. because of the COVID. That's only when I really started watching them. All right, here's another one. So we got to make a few more of those, okay? So let's get that uh, sorted. Oh, oh. We need one, two, three. So oh, I only need two more. Only need two more. Okay, we got this. We got this. Here, let's lay them out. One and two. Oh, that's our binding. Okay, let's tuck that back in. Of course, I'm using one of my project bags I made via one of our uh, uh, weekend uh, Friday videos, video on demand. So you can always check that out. And I hand stitched it to the back because I like the way it looks. And it held this whole quilt project of 90 by 90. So, I mean, awesome, awesome. Okay, so one, two, one, two. Yeah, and they don't know who we are from Jack the Bear with no hair. I mean, like, seriously, they're just YouTubers and, like, you know, I'm a YouTuber too, but, you know, certainly not as famous as they are in the category that they are in. But doesn't mean I don't appreciate them as as YouTubers and uh, want to be able to, you know, share my artistry and, or, and some of, well, obviously sharing Allison's artistry. <laughs> And Walt and I, we'll do our part too. <laughs> we'll do what we can. <laughs> so we'll make it pretty. Uh, I'm missing one. I'm missing a size here. What am I missing? Oh, there we are. One, two. Yeah, I watched uh, yesterday's uh, just as, uh, uh, as I finished my day and then I had to go and do dishes. So I was kind of like, and make dinner. So it was kind of like, <laughs> all right, let's, let's enjoy my half hour of Trent and Alley and then off to back to work. <laughs> That's kind of what happened. <laughs> Hello, Becky, what's going on? How's everybody today? How's everybody today? All right, so we got our next two to build here. We're just going to kind of stack on top of each other. Oops, get it in the right order, dork, dork. It might like look a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. So got some Earl Grey, my beautiful little mug. Uh. Well, it's nice when you can share YouTube channels. I have, you know, not necessarily anything to do with quilting. You know, not everything has to do with quilting, right? So, or crafting or making or, you know, farting around or whatever it is you want to do. <laughs> whatever it is we do. <laughs> yeah, and I said farting around. Yes, I did. You know, it's nice to watch other channels. I watch Trap Lines and Inlines. It's a young guy from northern Saskatchewan. Like I said, he is kind of a tiny bit of a potty mouth, but man, he makes me laugh. And he's doing such a good job on his little off-grid property with him and his dog Cougar. And I don't know, he just, it's just, 
I don't, it's inspiration. It's inspiration. I like to make him something as well. He, you know, I like to make him a nice little quilt for his bed too. So, but that's just who I am. That's who I am as a person. I just, you know, I like to support the people I enjoy watching and, 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 and hanging out with and, you know, so whenever I can. All right. Thank you, Agatha. I appreciate that. We did that as a video for uh, a Wednesday, uh, Friday video. Uh, I don't know, say maybe a couple months ago. So one was gifted to me for my cross stitching. And then I thought, well, I can make a couple of different sizes for different projects. And when I came across that one, I'm like, oh, this will be great to fit this. Pro Let's see if it'll fit in here. And it fit fantastic. So I was happy. I was a happy little cappy. No, oh, bots misbehaving. What? going on? Bitty bot having a tiffy top. <laughs> the little bot is having a little bit of a tiffy top. Okay, so let's go here and here. Okay. Do 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 Mm -hmm. You don't see Pop? Mm, he's there. He's causing his mischief, let me tell you. It's just who he is. He can't help himself. He comes by it naturally. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he's giving me the, the look right now, too. <laughs> the what? The what, what? You said what? <laughs> okay. And then we have this one. And then we can have this one. Okay. There. There. Oh, do, do. Do 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 do. <laughs> do 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 do. There we go. Okay, I think I got every. Oh no 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 no! I need here and here. Let's do this, there we go, and then let's get some oranges, sweet, let's go orange, and this one, there we go, I think we're good, next, for the next two anyways. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, yeah, uh, we uh, pops apparently having some issues. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautifully sunny out here. Very little wind. I may actually have a fire later. I'm not sure. We'll see. Mm. Oh, bye, Kelly. Big hugs to you. Take care. Pick up a poppy. <gasps> oh my goodness, you're in so much trouble. <laughs> Puppy love, who doesn't want the puppy love? Definitely. One, this one color at the top. Oh, you're right, right up here. You're right. What color I need, I need a blue or something. Okay, I'll put a blue up there. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome, thank you. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Yeah, homemade pizza for dinner tonight. Very excited. We haven't had a homemade pizza for a long time. I think it was the last time we streamed was a homemade pizza. Did we, did we make a homemade pizza? I don't remember now. Oh, thank you, Allison. Oh, big hugs. Big hugs, big hugs. Thank you. 
appreciate every little bit. Every little bit of the loving. Here, and then we got one at the bottom. Shush. Shush, I'll tell you when you're at a thread. Well, actually, you'll tell me when you're at a thread. <laughs> but I have another one loaded, so it's all good. Oh, Allison's got to go. Uh, oh, well, big hugs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. See you soon. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so let's go here. Oh, that should go this way. There we go. So that's that strip. Let's get the strips as we're working on them here. Let's just get them to got done. Work our way across. And then we'll pin them together. Let's see if we can just do this in a bit of a speedy manner. Homemade ramen. Oh, very nice, Pauline. Very nice. How, how do you make homemade ramen? What do you, what do you use? I'd, I'd like, I'd like to have some. I like ramen noodles. I like Mr. Ichiban. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate you. I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you. Big hugs. And don't worry, I still have your fabric here. <laughs> I'll let you know when I mail it and what you owe, I promise. <laughs> oh, they are beautiful, aren't they, Deborah? I just love them. And they just look so beautiful against that purple and the gray. They just needed a couple of really bright, bright colors to complement them, those little shades. And uh, I'm really, really quite pleased. And then, of course, trying to pick all the colors uh, to go on the inside that have nothing to do with purple, so the ones on the outside would stand out to how you want them to look, right? So I guess the, the only one that would be close to purple was a little bit the, the berry, the berry fabric one. So, okay, so there's those two, those two rows. Okay. Do. I'll do this one as well. Yeah, the Asian soup with noodles, spinach, bok choy, green onions, and uh, meat. We're doing chicken tonight, but it is generally made with pork. Oh, it sounds delicious. What time should we show up? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> Am I? Am I kidding? Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> I'm thinking about ordering several different mini charm packs to make this quilt. Oh, yeah, Lois, like what, uh, what kind of charm packs are you looking for? That does sound delicious, doesn't it, Annie? I'd be all over that. I'd be all over that. Get all up in my face. I love soup, so I love a soupy stew, anything like that. That's, that's my favorites. Do 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 Yeah, no, we we already got the goodies for uh, homemade pizza on the go, so I'm very excited by that. So we haven't had homemade pizza in a little while. I've already browned up the pork and seasoned it with some onions and some seasonings, of course. Um, and then, uh, and I've already made the I made the pizza dough last night so it can sit in the fridge all night. I raised up, uh, rose, raised, raised up, no, rose up really nice. It's nice and puffy and smells really good. So it should make a lovely pizza dough. And I made enough to possibly make two pizzas because I doubled the batch, so. 
and I prefer a homemade pizza dough. So, big tam with pineapple. So, ooh, see, I'm gonna have pineapple too. Cheers on the pineapple. I'm gonna have pineapple. Mm -mm -mm, pineapple. <laughs> need to find me a turkey oh yes because it's your third thanksgiving guys coming up yes 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 less than two less than two weeks less than less than three weeks less than three weeks for you guys that's right would have been three weeks on thursday because that's me birthday that's the day of me birth hubby makes the noodles from oh nice pauline very nice very nice Maybe grunge? Oh, for the fabrics? Oh, that would be interesting because it has, they have different colors and textures into them. Um, uh, Pat Rems, uh, one of uh, the um, Harmony quilt, that one on the long arm, it had, um, like it was a, a white-ish, but it also had tones of like pinks and uh, grays and stuff in it as well with the grunge. So it looked really beautiful with against the, that other pink and purple fabric that was in the pattern. So it looked lovely, absolutely lovely. Gotta go to work over. My battery's dying. My phone catch you. Okay, Big Hugs Carrie. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We greatly appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the weekend. Big Hugs. Amish friendship cake bread. It took 10 days to make the starter. Really, Sonia? Really? See, I always thought about that with sourdoughs and stuff like that. Yeah, you gotta make like a starter kit. So I'll have to find somebody to give me a a recipe to start that sort of thing. Hello, Elizabeth. What was your criteria for fabric selection? Seems the color saturation needs to be fairly consistent. I I just chose bright colors because I knew this was gonna be a marbly gray and this purple was gonna be a solid instead of like the light pink. It seems like they had more subdued colors in the pattern than it was that I chose. I chose lots of brights because um, that's what I have in my stash and I was hoping they would go well together. I thought maybe if I used a white white, it might've been too in your face. So using the marbly gray kind of tones it down as it's going from block to block. At least that's what, what I was hoping anyways, so. I just chose what I thought would look nice and had a good collection of like a red, an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue, a purple, a turquoise, that sort of thing, and pinks and you know, so on and so forth. Tried to get a, a variety of colors of the rainbow to um, express the you know beautiful scrappiness of, a, of this project. So, oh. yes, we're out, we're out, Bobbin. Uh oh. When I put the masking tape on, I didn't realize it covered over the little plate. What, whoa. What, whoa. Oh, yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done on the bobbin. Just a tiny little bit. <laughs> put that back up there. And away we go. Thank you, Becky. I appreciate that. I really do. It's hard sometimes when you're just trying to deal with your own stash, to not go uh, with your own stash or fabric collection but without going out to buying something else. Like that was, that's not the goal of any of our projects is to go out and buy something. You got to you got to bust what you have, but if you need to go buy, then you go buy. But I mean, some of us have more than a stash that we can shake a stick at. So, um, you know, it's, a, it's hopefully good inspiration and motivation for you to bust what you have and just make it come together, make it come together. And you'd be surprised when you pull some colors together, what's going to happen. Oh, what was we supposed to do? We're supposed to do blue to we? Okay. Okay, here, let's move these guys over so we can focus on these guys. Okay. Hello, Marguerite, how's it going? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Hello, Zella, how's it going? Cheers to you. Almost done my tea. 
Promise him egg salad sandwiches today. Ooh, eggs are cooked. Bye everyone. Okay, have a good one. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate you and your time sharing it with us. All right, we're almost done. And then we just have to stick a few rows together and we'll be okay. okay. We'll get there. We're puttering. We're puttering away. We'll get there. We're puttering away and we'll get there. I feel like I've turned the fan on a smidge here. Sorry. This one got warm. It's not that my tea's warm anymore, so. It's just supposed to be a gorgeous weekend here. Like, extremely unusual weather for um, beginning and middle of November here in southeastern Ontario. <laughs> Uh, tuning in late from Kansas. Hello, Jan. Happy you're here. Happy you made it. Just making a couple more blocks here, and then we're going to sew our second row together. Uh, and we're going to make, uh, we're, we're just going to show our beautiful progress because I only got five more, five rows to go total. So it'll be three more rows to after this uh, for this beautiful project. I'm very excited. I'm very excited by it. I'm loving the colors. And we're hoping to sell it. So that's even better. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, no kidding, right, Pauline? It was absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't believe I was wearing my vest on Friday and my light jacket on Thursday. Like, it just, it was unbelievable for this time of year. When it started off with Monday's chaotic snow and minus 13 degrees or feeling like minus 13 degrees, I was like, oh, no, this is what we're in for. <laughs> cry, cry, cry. <laughs> and here it starts, right? But it, no, no, we got a bit of a break, which is good because I got the deck all cleaned up of leaves and the... Some of the barbecue moved off to the side and the, you know, the pellet stove moved off to the side or the pellet bar barbecue. So, you know, got some, got, got, got a bit tidied up. So, you know, if it does snow, big dump, it's not a big deal. Not like it was a couple of years ago. Uh, uh, Janome 15,000 horizon there, Miss Pat. Janome 15,000 horizon. It's the embroidery machine as well. So, is it really? Oh, it's oh, it's two thirty here. Wow, that time this time is going by super fast here today. My goodness, I can't believe it's two thirty already. Hello, Katrina. Hello, Laura. Hi, we're, we're streaming. I'm going to put you on mute. Hold on. I'm going to put the, my microphone on mute. <laughs> you want to call me later? No, no.
Are we good? Yeah, okay. All right, sorry about that. That was my doctor. Uh, it, she doesn't seem to see a fracture in the bone, but that doesn't mean that it's not there. But she has seen with the x-ray that I have a really large bone spur on my heel. And that would explain a lot of things. <laughs> so I will be doing some treatment for the large bone spur. Uh, she said uh, she's actually quite surprised. I haven't um, seen somebody about it because of the pain, but I'm a tough old bird, so... Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll stick things out as far as I can take them, you know, because I'm a punk that way. So, yeah, so fun, fun. But the good thing, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like I broke a toe, which is good. I just really, really bruised it. So, which is good. And, of course, it's going to take some time to heal the bruised uh, stuff. I know, I know. Yeah, I didn't even know. I Well, she said, you know, we'll, we'll go over the x-ray when I come in for treatment and stuff like that. So... I'm like, okay. Yeah, sorry, but sorry to take away from the, the live stream there. I did call her the last night. Uh, no, sorry, I left the message last night, and then she got back to me, but it was really late. Um, and then um, she asked me to call her after 10 this morning, which I did, but she was she was obviously very busy. So, Hello, hello. Happy everybody's here. Uh, I know when that's like Bruce, I get the, him. My right shoulder and my hand now, it's sometimes, oh, jeepers creepers. Well, it just explains a little bit of pain I've had in my foot not really knowing. And she said, of course, over time, because it's your, it's the way you wobble on your foot, that's what actually uh, creates. Hello, Sonia, or Sonin, Sonin. Um, that um, they can they can do some treatments with it with laser and stuff like that to uh, get it to go away. So that'll be nice. Yeah, I know. Good thing is I'm a toe. I know. Whew, I know. That's all right. As I'm just just you know, because nothing worse than a broken toe when you can't set it right. You know, and it just you get this weird wonky toe for the rest of your life because you keep the frame of the mirror in the hallway as you were rushing to make dinner one night. <laughs> Oh, no, she, she's really good. She's actually one of my uh, customers as well. So we have a, a really good relationship. You know, I know her as my customer, not necessarily as a doctor. So, you know, when she pulls the Dr. Trump card, <laughs> it's kind of like, okay, I'll listen. <laughs> I'll listen. Pay attention. Could be a test later. <laughs> All right, now let's sew our two together here. All right, let's do some pinning. We'll do some pinning. Yeah, so I can go. I can go see her for treatment at any point in time. I just have to to make an appointment and stuff. And of course, try to balance it between you know our schedule here for YouTube and stuff. I have to work on on the quilt shop and streams and you know everything else. Oh, uh, why is that? That's right. That's right. Okay. I was like, wait a second here. Seemed like that was too short. What's happening? On my right shoulder or my left, I can't remember. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. 100%. <laughs> Very optimistic there, Deborah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just glad. I'm just glad it's not actually. Like it, I did, I really did a good job on it though. Let me tell you, and when I, you know, when you kicked it, you you kicked it. So, because even even after three weeks, it's still, you know, you step a certain way, it hurts or what have you. So, <laughs> I'll be okay. And I'm just stubborn. She, you know, she said to me, you know, what, you know, was it, you know, was it, you know, this or that? And I'm like, no, I'm just stubborn. That's why I didn't come earlier or say anything earlier. So that's all. Just a stubborn person. Uh, uh, hello, Naomi. Happy you're here. I had shots in my heel before the bone spurs. Ooh, yikes. Yikes. 
Yeah, she says it's quite a big one, actually. She says, I, I'm surprised you haven't, you haven't, you know, said anything to anybody before, because I, I said, no, I haven't, I haven't said anything to anybody. <laughs> I just have Dutch fries for dinner. Oh, that sounds delicious. I like fries. Are they like a thicker cut or are they thin and crispy? Like what kind of fries you got going on over there? Because some, some places are different. Like some are like a, a steak cut. They almost look like a potato wedge, but you know, a little bit thinner, you know, so fri fries are different all over. Yeah, I know, right? Right, Gwenny? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, homemade chicken noodle soup. I'd be all over that. Oh, I'd love me a chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Uh, hello, Jennifer. How's it going? From Tennessee. What's going on in Tennessee? Oh, chicken and dumplings. Oh, yes. I'd be all over that, too. Chicken and dumplings. Yum, yum, yum. I like dumplings though. Like I like I like uh, dumplings. And what is it? Uh, even the like the Chinese dumplings, the little pork pork pot stickers. Mm. Yum. Yes, please. Ten uh, seventy five. Oh, very very nice, very nice. Uh, no, I don't have mayonnaise with my fries. It's, it, that just sounds weird, Sonia. That just sounds weird. Hey, but to each their own. We're, we don't judge here. But you're weird. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. You're not weird. <laughs> Try it. Mm, maybe. Mm, maybe. I might. <laughs> I might give it a shot. <laughs> oh, oh, Susie's with you. I do mayo with fries. I don't think I've ever had mayo with fries. Mayo with fries. Unless I'm sticking it on the burger that has mayo on it already. That's about the only time. Malt vinegar. Yeah, me too. Me too, Lois. I'm about malt vinegar. I like malt vinegar on my fries. Especially when it comes to fish and chips. Fish and chips. The bomb diggity. Mm -mm -mm. Do it. <laughs> Do it, Susanio. Do it. <laughs> Let me know. I like gravy on my, me too, Vicky. I like gra gravy and mashed potatoes. That's where gravy and mashed potatoes are my favorite. Like for when it comes to gravy. Mm -mm -mm. Or a poutine. A poutine. It's a French fries with the cheese and the, and the gravy. Fries and vinegar? Yeah, yeah, vinegar, malt vinegar. Oh, it's, it's delicious, Annie. Oh, come on, give it a try. <laughs> All right, sew <laughs> so some stuff together. We got a few ro few few rows to do here. Mm. All right, sorry, I need to take a quick little potty break. I apologize. One moment. We'll be right back. Okay, like two two minutes.
<laughs> okay, back, back, back. We're good. So, so, so. Get this box done. Get our rows together. Get two rows done. I'll work on a couple blocks during the week so we can work on maybe three and four for next week and then we'll finish it up the week after. Well, I guess we won't be because it'll be Pop's. Pop's birthday celebration, but it could always be the what well, we can finish off if we need to find something else to do. So, but remember, we're gonna have 20 giveaways, things I'm going to be making on stream and giving away to the people who here hang out with us on the 21st. Celebrate our 20,000 subscribers, got that plus now, headed towards a 21,000, which is very exciting. Not bad for a little picky picky place out in the middle of kind of nowhere. Couple of Canucks trying to make something of themselves. We've done really well there, Pop. I'm very proud of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I hope people come and join us and hang out with us and enjoy their time with us hanging out. You mean the numbers climbing there, Helly, or this project coming along? Which, what do you mean? It's going fast now. What you mean? What you mean there, baby? What you mean? And I'm so happy you were going out and having fun with the other people, because you know we were going to be here in the end. So, and, and and of course we were wishing you happy adventures. You'll be here. wonderful. All the numbers. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. It's, it's who who to thunk it? I certainly didn't. I didn't even think we'd reach a hundred. <laughs> I really didn't. <laughs> I'm like, nobody's going to click on this nut job. Are you kidding me? They're going to be like, oh, I'm out of here. This is crazy. She doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> I'm so glad that lots of you have clicked that subscribe button and hang out with us and want to be a part of our really growing and loving community and helping support each other and... You know, it's it's a lot to be said for our little our little nip nip in the world, our little nip on the internet. Mm -hmm. I work twelve hours night shift. Oh, oh no, I don't miss those at all. I used to be a um, midnight dispatcher and um, uh, operator for uh, Amer. Um, sorry. Alberta Motor Association, which was the AMA for, oh, obviously, of Alberta. So if you're, you know, you broke down and had a flat tire or whatever, you called the number and I was one of the people you talked to. Either it was I talked to you and you took all your stats and I knew you were where you were, or I was dispatching the truck to where you were going to be from my operator. So I did work midnight shift for many a year and 12 hours was a long shift, let me tell you. I think it was two, two and a half years I did midnights. And that's a whole other world to get used to. It really is. You know, people say, oh, come join me for dinner and drinks before you got to go to work. I'm like, I can't be drinking before work. <laughs> They're done for the day and I'm just starting. I'm like, wait a second here. <laughs> that's, that's not going to work. <laughs> Yes, you are very much unique there, Miss Sass. Don't let anybody tell you different. I've been watching, um, um, oh, well, there's, this is a show we, we actually got started to watch when we were lived in the UK. It's called Time Team, and you can find them on YouTube. So, Time Team. And uh, they got lots and lots of episodes, and they go and explore uh, lands around England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, 
France and a few other little places. Um, and they only they only have three days to do it. So, <laughs> but it's a great little show. If you like that sort of stuff, which I do, I do, I do like that sort of stuff. Um, then I highly suggest it. So I've been watching that. I've been watching that. I've watched all my Agatha Christie's. They're all done. I've been kind of circling through a few of the Hercule Poirot. Uh, the very first ones because I think I don't think I caught those in the series so um, Yeah, and then I'm I was looking for other things to watch and I came across time team. I'm like, oh, I remember the show I still love it. So I've been watching just random shows I'm not following the seasons or anything like that just some random shows here and there so but I do love I love that I love the time team I like that sort of thing in my other life. I think it was um, uh, I, I think it was a um, um, anthropologist or something like that because I like that sort of diggy stuff. Hello Connie Joe. Time Team is really adventure. Yes it is isn't it Naomi? I'm glad you know it. I'm glad you know it. It's a great show. I really enjoy it. Okay. Oh, those gotta go this way. Did I put those upside down? Oh they are. No 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 they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. Here. This and this. All right, let's 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 go back over to the main table here and we're gonna pin these two blocks together in their few little sections and we'll get them finished up and then sewn together with our other ones, okay? And we'll finish off this row. I'm so excited. New tricks in Brit Box. Oh, okay, interesting. I like, if you go to Brit TV as well, you can catch uh, for you, YouTube, Brit TV, YouTube, uh, you can catch uh, the Agatha Christie's and the Hercule Poirot uh, series there as well. So there's actually some other ones like there, uh, what is it, um, uh, Sh Sheetland or Shetland, um, that's another mystery. Uh, there's another one there too. I've watched, I think, a couple of Shetlands, but um, I'd have to have to start at the beginning because I don't think I actually watched watched. I think it was just like in the background sort of thing. So. Do 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 do. Acorn. I'll have to look into those. But box and acorn. I just watch YouTube. I'm very cheap. It's either Netflix and YouTube. That's it. All right, frugal. Frugal. It's much nicer than cheap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, welcome, Carol. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, so those are some uh, shows that I have been uh, watching. I've been watching on uh, Netflix as well is The Next Generation with... Captain Picard. So I've been watching that series for, I don't know, several months now. I just pop it on as I'm trying to, you know, get ready for bed or whatever. And uh, sometimes I'll just fall asleep to it or pop will, uh, you know, watch it beside me for a little while before, you know, it ends up, the timer ends up shutting it off. So. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Do I laugh, but I have a hard time understanding bits. <laughs> It's the accent. We lived there for three years, and sometimes, well, especially the corner person, the corner store person that would sell you, you know, like candy bars and sweets and do the mail for you or send postage, I always had a hard time. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'd always say, I'm sorry. Could you say that again? Uh, and I it felt like a, a bit of a, you know, like a, a twit because I'm not hard of hearing. It's just sometimes the way they say the words or the letters within the words, it's a little bit confusing because we're not just, we're just not used to it. That's all. That's all. You know, it's not like we're, you know, you know, mentally incapable of doing it. We're just not used to it. So we say frugal, not cheap. It sounds I know. Right, Liz? Exactly. If frugal is a nicer word. That's what my mom used to say. We're frugal, not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, single parent raising four kids, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> you become cheap and frugal. <laughs> you know, min minimum wage. It's not like she had an education, right? She didn't even finish high school. So I think she did fantastic for what she for what she did, for what she had available to her. So all right, let's those are the two pinned. Make sure they're in the right direction and we're good to go. Let's finish those two. Mm -hmm. 
and they start talking too fast. Yes, no kidding. And and and, and some of the words that they say. Uh, hold on. Uh, schedule is schedule or schedule. Uh, property is you know it's, it's or garage. There's certain words that they say that you're just like, uh, what what is that? Oh, it sounds like such and such, right? So we were just broke. <laughs> We we weren't allowed to say broke or poor, because that's that was just you know that was just frowned upon. My mom worked hard and we worked hard as as kids, so. When I was a young age and I took an interest in gardening, and our neighbor to us, because we lived in a half a duplex or a townhouse or a, a two unit townhouse, whatever you want to call those things. Um, the neighbor next to us had a beautiful garden and they would grow all sorts of uh, vegetables, um, Asian vegetables, which was really, you know, cool and fun because we never knew them beforehand because it's not like we would go and buy them. We didn't know what they were. So I learned a lot from my neighbors who did not speak barely a word of English uh, growing up with them helping them in their garden because I would come over and help them and then they would give me some things to take home and then we would cook them up and eat them and that's how I learned bok choy and savoy cabbage and um, parsnips and you know certain certain things that we never would have growing or, or sweet peas uh, you know peas were peas were in a pod you popped them out of the pod and you put them in a freezer bag you know that's you know sweet peas or sugar snaps or anything like that was you know you never ate the whole thing and it comes you know with that's one of the main vegetables when it comes to stir fry and um oriental dishes right so and same with um um i'm thinking the the beans the bean sprouts and stuff like that too right so i learned at a young age that you know different different foods we go beautiful what's lovely oh we do have a pin here very nice. Look at us. Oh yeah, you didn't ask for anything. You you just you just knew it wasn't it wasn't you know you asked and you weren't going to get it anyway. So, <laughs> so you just didn't ask. You stopped asking after a while. <laughs> just deal with what you have. And that's how I learned to bake and make things of my own. If I wanted chocolate chip cookies and you know we couldn't afford to go to the store and buy some. You know, you would figure out what you had at home and how you can make chocolate chip cookies or, you know, or, or ginger snaps or something like that. It became a lot of uh, self-taught knowledge at that point of, um, you know, what was what. Oh, Teresa, some people have book smarts and others and others have life smarts. Some have common sense and others spend it. <laughs> That's an interesting way to put it. I, that's a good poem. I should, I should write that down and stitch that up. Yes, indeed. And that's, you know, when I started to wanting to grow my own garden, my mom said to me, you know, like we rent, you have to talk to the landlord, which was Mr. Henning at the time. And he was the chief of police for the chief of police for the outskirts of Calgary. Um, so, you know, he was a little, uh, intimidating cause he was very tall and, uh, you know, my mom being a little person and me being a little person right beside her, you know, not that I'm a little person now, but I was at the time. Uh, I, I felt very intimidated to ask him if I could grow a garden. But when I asked him, he said, he, he, not only did he say it was fine, he even came over for a couple of weekends to help me prep the section that I wanted to grow as a garden because it was his property and he wanted to make sure that, you know, I was doing it in the right space and, you know, it was at the side of the house where the light was going to get there and, you know, maybe a little bit blocked from the fence for the neighbor, but nonetheless. So I just, I just thought, I just thought that was really amazing. You know, he was such a, he's such a, a great landlord and willing to, to help, help this young little kid learn, you know, I don't, even, I don't, I'm trying to remember if he actually had kids. I don't remember. We, we could have been his adoptive little, you know, munchkins, or at least me anyways, because I was always the youngest in, in, in everybody's face, so. Surprise! Okay, let's press these guys here. One, two, three. And then we'll put our second row together, okay? Mm-hmm. 
And that's how I learned to, you know, uh, create, you know, puppets and Barbie dolls and cabbage patch clothes and everything else out of the little cuffs and chop offs of my mom's pants because she's a little person and even the petite would be too tall or too long for her. We'd have to still lop off four to five inches off these bottom of the pant legs. Well, that left a huge chunk of fabric to be able to play with, whether it be Barbie doll or Cabbage Patch or whatever else was going on. So I had, I had a lot of fun hiding underneath her sewing table, sewing stuff, making things, making puppets, a lot of puppets. I made a lot of puppets. At one point in time, I wanted to be a puppeteer. I wanted to work for Jim Henson. I wanted to be a Muppeteer. <laughs> I so love the Muppets. Muppets were the best. Oh, good night. Okay, bye, Margaret. See you later. Have a good one. You'll take common sense any day? Yeah, I'm with you there. I'm with you there, there, Tony. Oh, I'm sorry you're ill, Marguerite. Wish you a very speedy recovery and hope you're feeling very well soon. Okay, and I think we're good to go there. So we need, first off, just make sure we're not making any boo-boos here. Yep, it's one of these. And then one of these. Make sure we're not matching up anything along the way here. Nope, nope, we're good. <laughs> I always bug Pop when he uh, puts his phone on and he's reading at night and it casts a shadow along the wall. I'm like, where's my puppet show? I want my puppet show. <laughs> like, you know, the shadow puppets. <laughs> he doesn't put on a show. <laughs> it's very disappointing. <laughs> Where's my show? I want my puppet show. Oh, I made my mom all sorts of puppets and stuffed animal characters, creations of Laura Lynn and you know, I don't I don't know where any of them are now. I'm afraid to ask. So oh, most of most of her stuff is at my or all of her stuff that she had was is at my sister uh, Elizabeth's house in the garage. So. Do do. There we go. Go it that way, or do I want it this way? I like this one. Pop show. <laughs> <laughs> Mom was a seamstress and didn't know that not everyone had all the Barbie clothes I had and not every one of them was store-bought. She made gowns and bridal clothes for my doll. Oh, very nice. See, that's the best part. The closest I got to owning a Barbie was a Barbie paper dolls had to go across the street to play with the friend's Barbie. Oh, I hear you. I don't think I only had one. And the little kid who was, well, she was a little kid. She was a year or two younger than me, had like 20 of them. And I had like one. So, and I never, I was like, it was very confusing. Well, she was, you know, she was obviously, their family was different than my family. So, but, you know, when you're a kid, you don't quite understand all that. There's no, no sense of fair. <laughs> no one said life had to be fair. So. And no way in the manual does it say it has to be fair. Oh, I was just going to say. I'm losing my mind. I don't, know. I don't like that one either. There we go. There we go. Oh, uh oh, that got folded under. Just a tiny little corner. There we go. Invisible can. <laughs> He was invisible. He was really cute, but he was invisible. <laughs> okay, I guess I like that one. Oh, there you go, Anne. It kept you busy at a young age. There you go. Creative, right? 
<laughs> Jennifer, I'm sorry. <laughs> How was the youngest kid too? <laughs> and some of them would have the weirdest haircuts. They would look like G.I. Joe dolls because <laughs> my siblings got a hold of them. <laughs> I totally can relate. Uh, hey, Nick. Oh, wow, you got a new name. What's going on? You have a new name. What's happening, Niku? What's happening? Yeah, no, no, it was good, good, good fun, good fun. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Half haircuts. Especially the, remember the one, uh, I think it was a bigger doll. Was it the 18 inch doll that you could pull her hair and she would, it would grow? Yeah, that one. That didn't last very long. It was like my brother pulled it all out and cut it off. That was, that was forever it. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Oh, Anna, welcome, welcome. My brother dropped uh, my doll, Greta, down the back. Plasterboard went in the kitchen was being redone. She was never, oh no. <gasps> See that, that would be where some sibling rivalry going on there. <laughs> I'd be like whipping cream in his shoes. <laughs> Something else has to happen. You lost my favorite dolly. Yep. Revenge. <laughs> Yeah, what was her name? <laughs> the poor little one. Hiding in the, the wall of the kitchen forever. Okay, we're just going to sew our second row of blocks together. And then we'll pin it to our first row. And we'll have two rows done. Look at us go. I'd say almost halfway there, but we're not quite. We're not quite. But we made a really good progress. And I think it look it's going to look amazing. I think so. I hope so. That's, that's the goal. Treat doll. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm Sophie sleeping in a very weird me way. Been a little stubborn lately, calling her in when you know, like you know, time's up. I gotta, you know, I gotta go, or you know, something's right. She's like, oh, wandering the backyard over here, over there, puttering, sniffing. <laughs> I'm calling and whistle, and she's up, la 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 la. Okay, now the next one. Got a couple more to do here. We have our second one done. I really don't like Barbie and had the Mary Quint doll and stuff. I don't remember that one. I'll have to look at that. It was more, Cabbage Patch was more my like generation sort of thing. So I made a lot of clothes for my Cabbage Patch doll, so. And I know, I remember the hearing the story after, because I wanted one so bad, my mom got one of her coworker friends to stand in like the store for four or five hours to make sure she got me a Cabbage Patch doll for Christmas. <laughs> she was famous for her perfumes. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Interesting. Have you seen Bonnie Hunter's dog? She stands on her head. The dog stands on her head? That's a little weird. <laughs> it's a talented dog. It likes yoga? <laughs> oh, I remember Chrissy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Chrissy. I remember that doll. Yeah. I don't think I had one though, no.
Uh, I'm not sure there, Niku. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it turns out in the end. I'm quite pleased with it so far, though, so I'm not saying that's going to reflect the price. I just would really like it to turn out. So, Okay, here we go. Let's show this row, and then we'll set it up against row one. So row two against row one. Uh, there we go. It's very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's press this, and then we'll get it up on row one. Some beautiful colors here together. It's looking nice. It's looking nice, isn't it? I really like those vibrant colors. I would just, there's a couple of uh, softer toned ones, like some of these pinks. But the rest is pretty much uh, like in your face. Look at me, I'm colorful. Pay attention. Okay, so that is two. Let's get our one out here. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. I think so, too. Um, okay. Just make sure we're not... I don't want any repeating colors next to each other. So let's just kind of scoot along here. How we got our colors going here. The question is, is, is trying to not get two colors next to each other. I don't mind if they're opposite, like an angle up or an angle down. I just don't want them right beside each other. Okay, I think we're good to go here. Let's pin all this. Mm -hmm. uh, that is from uh, Northcott. Do you want to know the name? Because I can show you. I can show you. I have a, it's a wide back. Hold on. It is called. Here it is. Uh, okay. Doesn't have a name on it. Okay, well, that's it. It's beautiful. And I've had I have it to a back to a few quilts. That's, that's actually the back to the hugs quilt here, so. Mm -mm, hello, Kirtley. Oh, it's just me, I can any see the dragon stitch out on the big gray space. I'm confused. What, what? Okay, we want to line up some of these seams. Okay, so it's going to take a moment to pin these two rows together. Because we want to flip and flop and snug them right up against each other. Put in as many pins as you need to keep your project nice and straight and square. Thank you, Ursula. Big hugs to you. Thank you, thank you. They do make some beautiful fabrics. Unfortunately, they're really lackadaisical on shipping out their stuff. I've got an order from August, September, and October, and I haven't got either one of them yet. They still say processing, which is really annoying. Even when you send them emails going, hey, can I get an update on my order? It's been like three weeks. I've got customers who want their stuff. I prefer to have information for them before they contact me and go, hey, where's my stuff? <laughs> mm -hmm. Gray is still in it. I'm not, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe the cream. The cream is the same uh, pattern. Maybe the cream actually has a label on it. This one did not. No, that actually has nothing on either end. Nope. Absolutely nothing on these. That's weird. Probably Stonehenge. I would I would think so there, Sarah. I think that's what I ordered. I got the cream, the blue, and the uh, gray. The dark blue as well. The 
Yeah, that's true. And, and it's just, it's just you know, a little frustrating because, you know, you want to keep your customers happy, you know. So... Caro cake in the oven? Oh, that sounds good. I know it's a lot of pinning, but you really want to make sure all those seams that you have meeting from row to row and from block to block all meet up really nice and snug. Because it does make a difference in the whole quilt project, okay? Hello, Judy. What's going on? Finally made it. <laughs> Hate working Saturdays. <laughs> Miss your fun time. Well, you're here now. And we're sewing row one and two together of this beautiful project. Hold on. Let's show you. There we go. We got row one done, and we sew row two together, and now we're just attaching the two. Okay. And then we got three, four, and five. But we'll work on that for uh, during the week and uh, for the weekend, next weekend. I know, isn't it crazy there, Pat? It's crazy. It's crazy. Well, thank you, Miss Ellie. Welcoming everybody into the chat. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. This is exclamation Irish, uh, all one word, exclamation Irish. If you would like to get, uh, get a link to where you can get a copy of this free pattern and please support their website as much as you can. So thank you, thank you. All right, row one and two pinned together. Let's get this sewn and pressed and then that is some good work done for today. I'd say accomplished a something, that's for sure. I'll drink the last of my cold tea. down with my friend project now uh, on to the uh, not on to sticking project okay what kind of project is that to get going on Go. All right. Yeah, I, I've actually grown to love dotted fabrics. I wasn't sure a big polka dot fan for a long time, and then when you see a bunch of fabrics sometimes, it's so you, just like, hey, wait a second, I really like a polka dot. I really like a polka dot. All right, here we go. Block one and two sewing together. Lovely. 
outlook of what we got coming up. Oh, that looks pretty. Very nice. Mm -mm -mm. I love that. No, I don't open my seams. Why would I? Why would you bother? What's it, what difference is it going to make in the end? Absolutely nothing. Isn't that pretty? Everybody's got their own way. You do your way. I do my. Everybody's happy. Mm hmm. I think that looks fantabulous. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's so bright. I love that purple. Purple against that gray. I always like purple and gray together. But I really thought the purple. Oops, I think I lost a few bits of fabric. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it looks good, doesn't it? I hope so. I hope it's going to be absolutely stunning. It comes out, turns out. Oh, loving the colors. Loving the colors. All right. Does anybody have any questions about this pro, pro, uh, pro, uh, project? Pro, pro. This all pro, pro. <laughs> anybody? Anybody? I'm going to pack up what I have here. It does, doesn't it, Lee? It really, it really does. You got to pick that nice solid color to help blend things out, right? So let's put these in here. Oh, thank you, Laurel Big Hugs. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So we have eight more of the main big blocks to build. And then, what did we have? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, seven of the other ones to build, okay? So we're gonna get, uh, I'll, I'll get a couple of those done this week. Hopefully a couple on either side. So um, we actually look like we're making some progress. Uh, any seam? Well, yeah, you do. You have to match the seams or you're not gonna have the square on squares. You have to, you have to, you have to match them, okay? Or you're not gonna get this beautiful section stuff here, right? Okay. We'll be able to watch that because I turned it. Oh yeah, yeah, you can start from the very beginning. Just give it some time, because sometimes the chat doesn't show up for a day. So give it give it some time. Especially if you wanted to read the chat as well. So uh, thank you, Rowena. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Sonia. Appreciate it. Thank you, Hildy. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate everybody's lovely comments. It is a lovely little project. I'm happy we're doing it today. Or that, that is, we're doing it. Just in general. Okay. And of course, like I said, we have a mix of pinks and yellows and greens. And we got all sorts. All right, there we go. Pop that in there. And this is what row one and two look like. Mm. Very nice. All right, we'll pop that in our bucket, our little bag. That looks good. It's going to be 90 by 90, so it's a fantastic size quilt. Okay. That is the quilt that Miss uh, Allison uh, gave to us. We did it on a past 12 hour live stream. Pick up some of my pins here. I dropped a few. Oh, oh. Okay, more than a few. I dropped four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, I, I quilted it up. So. Mm -hmm. Do do. New to quilting, your videos are giving me some great ideas for my own. Well, thank you. Wonderful, Steve. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. On your phone. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, and of course, it all stays nice and organized in my little project bag that I made. Super easy. That's another video. <laughs> Any other questions? Anybody, anybody, anybody? Yeah, that quilt behind me just needs the hand stitching done on the gray to the back, and it is D-O-N-E, so I'm very excited for that. Then it's going to go on my side of the bed. <laughs> yeah. 
Can we make one tomorrow? Lovely. A project bag? I hope so. I hope so. And you don't you don't have to go and buy the plastic from the fabric store. You can go buy yourself a clear plastic curtain for like five to ten bucks, and you can get many project bags out of that clear plastic. Okay. Go baby that foot. <laughs> it's feeling much better, Jennifer. Thank you though. I appreciate it. Mm. It is a Janome 15,000 Horizon, Agatha. Mm. You were the first thumbs up. Thank you, Sonia. You get two thumbs up for me. <laughs> I did. Oh, good. Good, Anio. Because <laughs> it's way cheaper. Way, way cheaper. Get a plastic curtain for like five or seven bucks or something from the, even the dollar store than it is to go spend, you know, 12 or $18 for a meter of, you know, clear plastic. So, mm -hmm. Uh, 22 by 18, 22 by 18. Doing a mystery quilt next weekend at our workshop. Oh, very nice there, Miss Sass. I would love to see your progress on that. That would be fun. We could post it during our, 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 our session. Yes, you do, Susie. Way, way easy, way easy to do. You just gotta add a little zipper at the top with some fabric. Trust me, I did a video on it. You can go back and look through some of our past videos. Uh, it's doubled on this side, not on that side, but I did put another bit of fabric under there. Just attached a zipper and added the plastic and then sewed it right on top. And then, of course, I hand stitched it to the back, but you don't have to. You can hand stitch it to the front. I mean, zip, zip it all the way around, so. Thank you, Hildy. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I know, right? Right, right. Okay. Uh, hold on, uh, video for the storage bag is already, oh yeah, 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 it's been done. This been, uh, uh, like a month or so ago. That's when we did that one. We did a few, we did a few bags. So, uh, what is the presser foot us having on for piecing? I just had my regular foot. Hold on, where's my, hold on. Can we get the overhead? Okay, just my regular little foot that pops on, hooks up right into there. Okay, nothing exciting, nothing, nothing fancy McPancy or anything. It's just my regular foot. And I ride my fabric right here along where the metal and the plastic meet. And that is a quarter inch from the needle down over to here. It's, uh, it fits a whole project there, Allison, and that's what I was hoping for. It helps uh, less confusing for things around here. <laughs> if I got it all in one spot. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. Okay. <laughs> uh, is all in the gauge of the plastic, how thick was the one used? Not very thick, I don't remember. Like it's just, it feels like just like a plastic curtain, like you would or like a plastic duvet bag or something like that. It's very, you could bend it, it's, it's flexible, it's not gonna be, what is the letter? Oh, uh, hold on. A. A. Uh, I don't know why you're having problems downloading the pattern there, Connie. It's on the website, if you go right down to the bottom, you should click it. Thank you, Karen. And it's looking amazing. I love it. I love, I love this project so far. Yeah, exactly, Kathy. Well done, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, if you just go down to the, when you click the link, and if you go down to the bottom of the page from that link, there, there you go, you can click for the fee pattern. We just want to make sure we directed people to the main page to give them all the information that they needed or maybe wanted to find out more about the artist or so on and so forth. So we're trying to give more information to the people instead of just having it right to the link of the pattern. So get to the main page, you can read over things, maybe you want to venture here, venture there, but right at the bottom, you can just click the, the free download, okay? Oh, that's weird. That's weird, Jennifer. Hmm. That's crazy. Uh, uh, it is a uh, Janome 15,000 there, Angela. Do, do, do. 
yeah, is a UK a UK artist who has this pattern up. It's from 2014. So. All right, I think that's uh, all we're going to do for today. So thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us and giving us a big old thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, we will see you, uh, obviously, on the Long Run Wednesday show and then the weekend project video, which will be Block 10 for the Be My Neighbor from Moda. Uh, Pat Sloan from 2017 and then um, and then of course you know for the 21st be prepared we got 12 hours of fun coming on it's Pop's birthday so uh, we'll be making a few uh, dishes ahead of time uh, so we can just kind of have some fun during the day and we're going to make lots of things for you guys we're making 20 projects to give away same project just make 20 of them to give away to you guys Birthday's Monday. Well, happy birthday, Heather. <laughs> Big hugs to everybody. Thank you so much for your time. We greatly appreciate you. You have a fantastic rest of the weekend. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the fresh air. And just enjoy the people around you. Okay? Take care. Big hugs. Love every single one of you. Thank you very, very much.